Every Monday, Moral Maze, because there's always such a lot to discuss. And Jack Fonseca, Campaign Life, and many other things, joins us. Happy New Year. Don't look, don't look at the monitor. You're trying to see your picture on the monitor. Vanity, vanity. <laughs> I, Sorry. That's Happy it. New Year to you. It seems a long time ago now, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, it is. So Thank let's move did. on from that. Anyway, uh, we, we had this as a Corinna Copy, the end of a show, a kicker, but it went viral. It, it, was, the, it was a picture of, of, of the, the unborn child. That should be emphasised. The unborn child... Um, uh, a human being worthy of abortion at this stage, of course, qualifying for abortion, shaking hand, ho put, putting... Was it a boy or a girl? It was a girl. It was a girl putting her hand out and, and holding the, one of the fingers of... Uh, I think it was a father uh, who, who was standing there. Was it the of doctor? the doctor. It was, it was actually, actually the delivery the doctor. doctor who had done the C-section. Right, because the dad was there too, and the dad, that's what, the dad took the photograph. That's right. And it is extraordinary. I don't, we shouldn't allow this to, to dominate the argument because it's emotionalism, of course. But if we try and, um, and draw the, the clinical out of this, at this point, this child could have been aborted with full public funding in Canada, for example, and that would have been entirely legal. Yes, absolutely. And, and that's why this image is so important because uh, you look at it and there's vivid evidence right before your eyes yeah. with, with this picture that you see a little hand grabbing a doctor's finger and you can intellectually you can look at it and say well gee my child can grab my finger yeah. that child is grabbing a finger it does is one any less human than another mm -hmm. so it humanizes the fetus which over the the past few decades fetus has been dehumanized depersonalized mm. to make it an object a lifeless uh, non-human object right. for the purpose of being able to kill it, of mm -hmm. course. Yeah, exactly. So this, uh, this is really a boon to the pro-life movement in that uh, it's gone absolutely viral yeah. worldwide. People are humanizing the fetus mm. when they see this. Which is very important, but we, we have to not dwell on the chronology of this because, in fact, a child could do this months before, well, certainly a month or two before, we know that the child in the womb feels pain, moves away, for example, from the instrument ending its life during an abortion. But even before that, when it doesn't resemble a baby, if you like, it is still a unique human life. And it's always, it should always be worthy of complete human dignity and rights. But of course, children aren't. No, no, and, and especially in our country where we're in a state of lawlessness, mm. where there's absolutely no law to protect children in the womb. And, uh, and that's a tragedy. I mean, we're, we're, we're amongst the ranks of North Korea uh, with no laws on, uh, to protect children in the mm. womb. And <clears throat> uh, let's move on. I'm um, a, a very grown um, human being, a young, uh, a young lady in Brazil. An 18-year-old girl is auctioning off her virginity. This is not unique. It's happened before on YouTube and says she plans to use the money to help her ailing mother. A television network has offered to pay for her mother's medical expenses so the teenager won't resort to the wild-eyed idea. You always wonder if these are genuine. Uh, I don't think that's really the issue. It's happened about four or five times before now. It's not that they're genuine. I think some of them are. It's that someone would actually do this. And many people say, that's quite a good idea. Why not, for goodness sake? But I've heard people say, well, she may marry a wealthy man. Isn't that the same thing? And there are radical feminists who would argue that marriage, in fact, is just a form of a woman selling her body. Yeah, that's, that's baloney. And, and this is, uh, it's actually a very frightening thing when you think about it. You got a young girl, uh, 18 years old, yeah. and she's basically prostituting herself. She's selling herself to a man she doesn't know, who doesn't love her. She's willing to sell her virginity, supposedly, um, for, for money. Mm. Sell her, her, her flesh for money. That's prostitution. And, um, and even the mother, the girl's mother, whom she says she's doing this for, is to raise the money because her mother had a stroke yeah. and she, wants to, she needs money to help pay for her medical costs. And the mother's saying, please, don't do this. Yeah. Don't do this. Get a job. Don't prostitute yourself. Well, there are girls who said, I'll do this to pay for my education. But for goodness sake, there are girls at school, at high school, who will say, unless you, you lose your virginity before graduation, you're nerdy. You're not cool. I mean, they're, mm -hmm. they're, we have so cheapened sexuality. And uh, that just segues into this. U U.S. court demands child support from sperm donor, a Kansas man. I'm going to Kansas uh, tomorrow, actually. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh. A Kansas man who donated sperm to a lesbian couple so they could have a child <laughs> now faces a petition for child support. Uh, you know, in, in a way, couldn't care less. He, he serves him right. A child is meant to be the product of a tool possible of an act of love, Absolutely. not sperm donation. Yeah, I, I, I say uh, go, district attorney, go. I, I hope they nail him to the wall. Really? Uh, yeah, I hope they force him to pay child support because... Uh, you know, he is the biological father. And just because uh, there may be laws or, or societal approval for uh, donating sperm and creating a child through this impersonal 
uh, long distance mm. <laughs> setup. Um, I don't think it's right. I think it's wrong that that you can uh, get away with the responsibility of fathering a child. But isn't it a plague on all their houses? The, 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 the two women, two lesbian women, this guy. I mean, they're all as bad as each other. I mean, oh, obviously yeah. he, he did this in his own strange, perverse way, thinking it was an act of altruism. Uh, well, did he, or or maybe it was just for money? But perhaps it, he he is thinking. Oh, but it's, it's a malformed conscience. Yeah. He may think he's doing the right thing, but he's got a malformed conscience if he mm. thinks that's the right thing. Um, you know, it's, it's a very serious thing to divorce a child from their biological origins, from, from the knowledge of where they come from. Yes. And, uh, and that's what they've done to this little girl well, who's now two years old. That now, we? We're saying we this entirely. Separate. I'm not going to name this person. But I know a journalist in, in Toronto, and uh, her brother impregnated her lover so they could have a child. So that, that girl, her, what would it be, her, 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 her biological father is also her biological uncle. I mean, it gets very confusing. It's like a sort of 1930s poem. You know, my uncle's yeah. aunt was my, dad, my dad's sister's nephew. But we say this is normal, and then we wonder why we have family breakdown, and we have so much confusion in society, leading to people trying to sell their virginity when they're 18 or whatever. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, to give you an example of how harmful it is, you know, when I first heard this story, I thought, selfish, selfish, selfish. Mm. Because what about the child? The girl, you know, what, what you didn't mention in your, in your intro to the story is that the two lesbians have split up. Yeah. Really? They, I, that's they, hard to believe they, because that's always they, a perfect marriage, they, isn't it? Yes, of I course. I watch TV. So they split up, uh, you know, when the child was less than a year and a half old. Now you got this battle in court. It's on the internet. Someday yeah. the child's going to want to know where it comes from, what its biological origins are. Yeah. And it's going to find out, she's going to find out that my father sold sperm he didn't want to know me. He signed away his rights to yeah. know me. And, uh, and I was created in this unnatural way. And it's just wrong. And, you know, I know a guy who is uh, about 35 years old. He was adopted. Mm. Very loving, adoptive parents. But he walked around his whole life, even into his adult, adulthood, with this pain of not knowing who his parents were yep. or why they gave him up mm -hmm. for adoption. So he had this, this sadness. He had this pain. It yep. was a scarring that he carried with him through his whole life. And... Uh, if you can imagine of course. Uh, how much worse it's going to be when you find out that you were oh, a product yeah. of sperm and donation. We've had a few of these cases now, and there will be many, many more. But don't, don't you dare say there's something wrong with that sort of family, because if you do, <laughs> you're going to be in real trouble. As always, a great pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michael.